Mohammed Bazalem claimed to be paralyzed from the neck down. He said he could barely move and was virtually bedridden. But this video of his wedding paints a rather different picture. UK border agency officers found it when they raided his flat, along with a gym membership card and a pile of unused mobility equipment. I'm from the UK border agency. UK border agency, okay? okay. This was Mr. Buzalem being arrested in June last year after an extensive surveillance operation. So you basically claimed you're an Afghan national, and in fact you're not, you're Moroccan. Buzalem arrived in the UK in 2001, claiming to be from Afghanistan. He said he'd been tortured and his father shot by the Taliban. He was refused asylum but granted leave to remain and with it access to the benefits system. Over the next nine years, he moved his sister and his two brothers, seen here hiding their faces, to the UK to act as his carers, all at the taxpayers' expense. They were given suspended sentences in order to do unpaid community work for their part in Buzalem's fraud. He's a liar. Um, he lied from day one when he came to the UK and continued lying for 10 years. Uh, and as a result of those lies, has made criminals his own family and has defrauded the British taxpayer £400,000. Thousands of pounds had also been spent adapting his council flat in Kilburn to his needs as a supposedly severely disabled person. Mohammed Buzalem's disability was assessed by appointment and the court heard how a council worker had gone to his flat to find him in bed next to his hoist with a blanket pulled up under his chin and she was satisfied that he was indeed bedridden. But a UK border agency officer stationed outside had seen a rather different picture. Half an hour earlier he'd seen Mr Buzalem walking into his flat unaided. In fact, the undercover operation filmed him leaving his flat on several occasions, not a walking cane or a wheelchair in sight. Sentencing Buzalem to six years and 11 months in prison, Judge Simon Oliver told him he was a complete and utter fraud, that he had now told so many lies we might never know who the real Mohammed Buzalem is. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Isleworth Crown Court.